Hi folks, Matt Easton here. A topic which comes up uh, relatively often in the comments under some of my videos is, uh, is people start talking about what weapons they would carry in a certain scenario. Okay? And these scenarios vary. Sometimes it's a sort of post-apocalyptic scenario, sometimes it's um, uh, if, I, if I was living in 14th century England, what weapons I'd travel around with, or sometimes it's a fantasy situation, but a sort of medieval fantasy situation. Um, and, uh, or indeed uh, films as well. Films is another thing that, that comes up. And uh, one of my sort of bugbears is the fact that in, uh, especially computer games and role-playing games, but also to an extent movies and books, um, there's this idea that people can carry really a lot of weapons around with them when actually you can't okay the fact is that if you are uh, a whether it's a soldier or, or whether you're some kind of traveler or uh, you know you're you're sort of mercenary or whatever um, you can only carry a certain amount of gear okay and if you are traveling about in your daily life then presumably you're doing a job. You're you're going you're going to the shops, or you're you're trading, you're bartering with stuff, or you're maybe you know a, a farmer or a miner or a, a woodsman, a carpenter, whatever. Okay, so you have a job to do, and you travel around. Your main priority is to live your life on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, now if you work in a town or if you work in the countryside. Um, you, you're not going to walk around armed to the teeth, okay? Whether it's the medieval period or, or some part of the Renaissance or the industrial period or post-apocalyptic kind of period, your main priority is day-to-day -day life, okay? We don't, uh, it's not a sort of Warhammer 40k world where people seem to spend all day, every day fighting, okay? No, you spend most of your time living, uh, sleeping, eating, um, and chatting with your friends maybe, reading a book, doing these sort of things, doing your job. You don't, you don't walk around armed to the teeth, ready to fight all the time at any moment. Okay? Uh, even if you look at post-apocalyptic things like Mad Max, okay? he spends most of his time driving around in his car, looking for fuel and looking for tins of dog food. Okay? He doesn't spend his whole time engaged in, in fights against multiple opponents and uh, leaping around off uh, trucks and, and fortifications and killing people. Okay? Most of Mad Max's life is spent in a car by himself with his dog, looking for dog food, uh, and looking for fuel for his car. Okay, so you're not going to walk around the whole time with like five or ten weapons strapped all over yourself. You know, two-handed sword inexplicably worn on the back, big shield, um, wearing armor all the time because you can't sit down or sleep comfortably in armor, and you get very hot and sweaty, and it's disgusting. You can't go to the toilet very easily, um, uh, and all of these sort of things. Incidentally, most types of armor, it's very difficult to sit in a car and drive. For any of the reenactors out there, I'm sure you'll confirm that this is true. Most types of breastplate restrict you from sitting properly in a car. If you've got a medieval-style breastplate, it has what's called a fold, which is like the skirt of, of overlapping lanes. You can't sit in a car seat or a conventional seat with that type of armor. You can only sit on a stool or a horse. Okay. So there are all of these sort of considerations about weapons. You've also got the question of weapons. Um, where do you attach? them to your body what does that restrict you from doing okay um, equally weight uh, jangly noise annoying you know if it's any kind of uh, firearms that require ammunition um, wouldn't it be more effective to maybe have one firearm and more ammunition rather than five firearms and where do you put all the ammunition for those different firearms and these kind of situations different kind of questions so for most of history therefore uh, if a person carried a weapon, it was generally a sidearm. Okay, it's a very useful term, and I have often uh, made the point that swords are sidearms, and that is one of the reasons why swords um, and sword-like weapons, be it you know things like um, uh, parangs or, or, or um, machetes or, or bowie knives or cookeries or whatever, um, these kind of bladed weapons ha have been massively popular over a huge expanse of the earth for a huge period of history because they're relatively light, they're easy to carry. Okay? As soon as you start talking about 
walking around the streets carrying a pole axe, wearing a shield on your back and with medium plate mail, plate mail isn't a thing incidentally, but um, wearing kind of armour and stuff. You, you, can't, you can't carry on your day-to-day -day life in this way, okay? So, most of the time if we're talking about EDCs, everyday carry weapons, you're talking about knives or at the most medium-sized swords. Okay, in some types of society which are very maybe agricultural or hunting based, you might walk around with a bow or a spear. Okay, so if we look at certain uh, South American cultures or uh, African cultures or certain Asian cultures, yes, there are people who do walk around with a spear or they do walk around with a bow. Okay, uh, however, for most of history across most of the world. If a person carried a weapon at all, and remember that a lot of people just don't carry a weapon around, even in primitive societies from any period of history, an average farmer might at most have an eating knife, and that's it, uh, or they might have a walking stick or something like this, but they're not going to walk around with a sword most of the time, because, like, why? Um, most people who did walk around with weapons, for some reason, uh, maybe because they travelled for part of their everyday job or they they were a traveller, they were going on a specific journey for a specific reason and they had to carry a weapon because the, that route wasn't safe. They would generally carry weapons which are very easy to carry and they would generally only carry one or two weapons at most. Okay, So if we look at medieval Europe, it was very common for civilians when travelling to carry one sword or one messer or uh, one dagger, or sometimes a sword and a dagger, or a sword and a buckler, or sometimes a sword and a bow, okay, or crossbow indeed. And very rarely did they carry any more than that. So this idea from games like, um, you know, Diablo or Skyrim or these kind of things where you can carry like, maybe you'll carry three swords and two daggers and a shield and a buckler as well and maybe a, a spear and a, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It has no place in history or realistic everyday kind of life and how weapons fit into an everyday life. Okay, so think about that and think about when you're talking about what weapons you might carry in a certain place or a certain time, think about what's really practical and imagine going about your daily life actually wearing that thing. Uh, and I can assure you that you do get used to wearing swords incidentally, but they do get in the way. Okay, and just imagine for example wearing a sword and getting in and out of a car. Massive pain in the arse. Okay, <laughs> okay guys, something to think about and talk about there. Cheers.